Okay, quick little video to um, show a technique that I have recently discovered for myself and really like. So, um, here we go. First of all, what I'm using is um, is is uh, the EcoFlow Highlight Stain. Um, really nice stuff. I like it. Um, so, but I, uh, of course, always uh, use things out the box. So I mixed the saddle pan and the chestnut, and then I added water to the to the whole affair. So here I have another very neat discovery, and that is that these pull holders are totally waterproof. That you get regular pulls from from your pharmacy. Um, so they make really good temporary containers. Okay, I have mixed that uh, highlight stain about 50% with water. And so it allows me to paint it on almost like a dye. So why do I do this? Well, first well, I saw on the on the bottle on the highlight stain bottle that you can dilute it with water. So I thought, well, okay, why dilute it? Because the idea is you um, apply it very thoroughly, very liberally, and then wipe off the excess. Um, and for that, it's nice if it's a bit thick. But then. I had a, a piece similar to this where I wanted the highlight stain not on everything. I only wanted it on selected areas. And so ideally painted on with a little brush. And um, the only part, obviously, that's a bit, a bit out of the box for the highlight stain is wiping this off because I still do that um, I still wipe off the excess and the way I do that my normal way paper towel and uh, make sure I have a clean piece of paper towel and I wipe away from the, the edge so I make sure that I don't wipe any of the highlight stain onto the clean edge that I want to keep. Um, so that works well if you're just careful. But it really is is um, nice if it's if you have this um, too thick. If the highlight stain is not diluted with water then um, it's difficult to paint on, get it in everywhere with a paintbrush. So makes it really nice. The other thing that I, that I like about this method is that it also gives almost a richer uh, a very rich shiny kind of effect on the on the highlight stain it um, man it just produces such a nice rich 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 color um, in this way so that's something I really like as well Now with all of the highlight stain you can easily overlap areas and when you wipe it off it'll even it out. So I don't leave too big in areas before I wipe off because I don't want it to dry out too much. That will give you streaky and uneven coverage.
Okay. I am... Um, have been watching a guy... Uh, Joel Jericho, I think. He's a Minnesotan doing pottery. And he does it, a lot of it, in live sessions uh, on Facebook, which is absolutely fascinating to watch. And I've really wanted to do live, live leatherwork sessions here as well. But the only thing with that is it's tough to focus on doing the leatherwork down here. Make sure it's in the picture so that everybody can see what you're doing and then at the same time keeping an eye on the screen with um, comments on the screen and being able to answer questions and that so I must find a workaround around that um, maybe get somebody to assist me to do the handle the questions or give me the questions as they appear. The other thing is it takes an incredible amount of phone battery to do that because your phone is at the same time taking the video and broadcasting it to the outside so but Oh, fun. I'll do that again one day. Maybe with a less involved process. So this is almost done. Uh, as you can see. I make sure that I get the... Even with a brush, I get the highlight stain... Um, well applied that... In the, in the impressions that there are... It is still... Uh, well pooled. There must be some pooling of it in the impressions. That way I get that really nice line up, line out or outlines rather of um, the piece. Haha! <laughs> so I think that is all done. Now it has to dry. And uh, let me uh, do this and show you what we got. No other way around. So this is a um, um, journal cover that um, I've designed. Um, and that will stay like that. I've just, on the back of the journal cover, I make it just something small that try, I try and relate it to the front of the cover. Um, so, the front is the main art piece. Thanks to Sergei Falken from Switzerland. He's been inspiring me to take this weaving that I did done years ago to take that a bit further. Um, the f odd shape of the, the journal cover on the side, that gives you a place to put your pens and maybe I'll do a separate article or something ab about this. Um, but I make the journal covers in such a way that you can write on them the first to the last page and everything is very smooth there's no bumps in it because you've got it on a leather cover so there we go have fun with your leather work hope i've helped someone somewhere do something more fun thank you bye bye